The world between worlds then turns to water, and I love the effect on this transformation. Such a cool way to represent it, with Ahsoka somewhat being baptised and then born again. After she's pulled out of the water, she eventually goes on to become Ahsoka the White. This is something that the creative team talked about through the week, and they basically went into how this entire series is built up to Ahsoka becoming Ahsoka the White. They stated they were influenced by the transition that Gandalf had during the Two Towers, and in that we watched him change from Gandalf the Grey into Gandalf the White. This came after he travelled into an extra dimension, and this itself allowed him to be reborn. The team behind the show said they were kind of retconning the ending of Rebels in which Ahsoka showed up in a white cloak and that the transformation was instead going to be happening in this series. This is why the shot for shot remake of the ending of Rebels had Ahsoka in a great cloak rather than the white that she originally appeared in. This will be the next step of her evolution rather than it happening in Rebels and it'll be something that she needs in order to fully take on Thrawn and all his cronies.